Hello everyone, Brian Bull with Wrestling Inc. here at the MGM Park Hotel for SummerSlam, standing with former WWE Champion Drew McIntyre. Drew, how do you feel going into SummerSlam this year? It was really good a second ago, I remember having a good couple of days, and I a lot of media, a lot of appearances, especially the last night. Well, I, I know that you just got made an ambassador for the Special Olympics. Congratulations, and I'm glad that you're keeping it uh, you know, all buttoned down to me. You know, watch myself. I'm a professional. <laughs> she was over there and talking about me the whole time. Why are your big silk here? Why are you for God's sake? Ah! Why is that your tired of farming? <laughs> I dress myself, I'm a human Ken dog. <laughs> look left, Seamus is there, I look right, Jinder is there. Who organized this thing? You are surrounded by enemies right now. No. <laughs> it's a my fault. Am I the common denominator? Like my friends took to me. Am I the problem? And I just pick terrible friends. And that, that's what happens when you're a top guy. Yes, it's lonely at the top. I remember the other two have seen that many years ago. It's lonely at the top. They're yeah. hard, like, the closest friends to you. Yeah. Then it's so your learning skills. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hopefully the hotel can provide you with a decent steamer. We'll see what we can do. If you can pick that up, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> I should spend about an hour to hear. <laughs> Drew, you've been on the road now for four weeks after 16 months of being off the road. What's it like traveling again? Uh, it's easy, it's easy. Yeah? It's bizarre, it's when we first uh, went into the pandemic and bringing all the shows from uh, Florida and Miami initially. I was driving to work, I would just go and drive around my whole in town. Sometimes an hour and say, my wife can just stay alive. I'm so used to being in the world, I'm so used to traveling all the time. I just have to stay in the routine. And everyone there stopped that, and I used to be in the home for about a year and a half. And suddenly we're getting back into it. So we get those flights, do those long car journeys again. It's not easy to be back into it. We're just with the fans back in the building, being in a room with people again, getting to interact with the public, and talking about the thing we like. It's absolutely worth it. The fans have been amazing. We're kind of sort of from the start of every show, televised and not televised, to the end of every show, and now Summer Slam tomorrow. Now, Drew, you have two victories over Jinder in the past, but we're, we're facing over Shamus. We're talking trash. We're 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 facing a new Jinder Mahal. Jinder is bigger and better than ever. He's got you know beard shanky. Obviously, they won't be there after your tremendous victory. So so you've got Jinder one on one. What are you going to do to take on this version of Jinder Mahal? <laughs> Very confident, I uh, rightfully so. He's a former WWE champion, he's the best shit in his life. I don't know he's a very much game for that. I think he's seen the last thing he's a WWE champion. So I'm great on another level, which is great for him. I'm really excited for him. So I'm walking through um, such a similar path, and his journey is about fire, reinventing ourselves, buying ourselves, becoming WWE champion. And it is excellent, he's able to reach the stage where we're in this huge singles match with SummerSlam, 40,000 plus people. You know that he's a man that officially is just unfortunate. He's against his own major match. It seems to be underestimated. The same guy that crushed Brock Lesnar, crushed Brock Lesnar, and the other one who's who never been a superstar. So it's nice to hear confident, man, but he's a bridge. Now, uh, Drew, you, you, you know, you're losing streak in the recent paper. What are you doing to adjust your own game for this semester? Yeah, now he's looking for the head. Lashley, MVP, thank you for your excuses on the line. Everybody saw with my eyes what happened to the WrestleMania. We got that when I looked at some people that I did. And the trouble with that, they got lost. They made me keep up with something. Sight, so I'm close to finish. And I'm going to be able to fight for a few times on this last year's champion. And Jinder and his guys took away my last opportunity to come back with the title picture. So I'm going to go over a few times. It's like uh, these guys that have their buddies by the side. It's like I'm going to have to go to McIntyre. All my buddies are turning on me. So it's not an easy time to go to McIntyre, but I don't care. We're just going to go to stay. Save the DTA. We don't trust anybody. We're going to go in there. We're going to kick some bars. I'm never going to get them up. I'm going to go slow to once again. Now, uh, now with your travel again, I'm wondering, do you have to check the source? I tried to take a sample one time. They said that we got a laptop or... Uh, 